going on and welcome back to another video. Now I thought whilst I was doing my hair here I would kind of talk to you here because I thought the lighting is okay. It's a grey day and what is going on with the world? <laughs> this is obviously isolation station which I call it. Today is fri Friday. <laughs> We're on Friday the 3rd of April. It is half eight in the morning. This is actually my second coffee of the day. I always have one as soon as I wake up. So my morning routine has been really kind of vital in, in all of this because I am self-isolating alone. Like I know a lot of people will be. If you are, make sure you let me know below. <laughs> We're all in this together. But it is quite taxing on your mental health and I know that I am in a privileged position for a number of reasons that at the moment I'm not struggling financially. That's a massive thing. My health is good at the moment. And another reason is that I'm not going from an office environment then on my own working and that's it. Like, as you will know if you have followed me for... Uh, a little bit of time now you'll know that I work from home I have done for four years now so in that way it's not like a massive change for me I suppose what's the big change is is that I'm self-isolating alone and you can't go and see family and friends like you are on your own other than you know social media FaceTime whatever and we'll get into that in a minute I think what I've realized that I did in my day I thought oh I just spend time alone like social distancing it's fine but in actual fact in my daily routine I would spend a few hours working then pop out and just like get out in the wild and see the outside world and for a, for a lot of reasons not having like coffee shops open cafes you know gyms and and things that just like break up the day almost uh, I think that I'm finding that the hardest. But overall, I think establishing a routine is so key in your day-to-day -day life. And I want to talk to you about my routine a little bit. But first of all, I do feel like I'm a walking contradiction and a walking disclaimer at the moment because it's really difficult to get the balance right. And I know that on my Instagram, I said last Sunday, I was like, this is a perfect time to start something, this is a perfect time to start a business, like, basically, like, what are you waiting for, like, you'll never get this time again, and as I reflected during the week, as I listened to loads, of, I mean, I listen to podcasts all day, every day, like, I love them at this time, they're, like, keeping me going, as I kind of reflected on what I said, and as my kind of mood in the week deteriorated, it's popped back up again, but we just go through waves, don't we? I was like, that is such a dumb thing, an insensitive thing to say to people because I don't know anyone's situation. We never know anyone's real situation that's going on. Like, we never know what someone's going through. Someone's just been laid off from a job or, like you know they're struggling with their health or whatever and I'm saying I'm over here like you need to be motivated and start a business or whatever you know I didn't say it particularly like that but like that was what I was kind of implying I just thought it was such a dumb insensitive thing to say to people so I I since yesterday did a like an apology no one actually messaged me no one said like outed me or messaged me saying like mm, I'm not sure if what you said you should have said that and in actual fact I see a lot of people online saying like this is your chance and stuff and now I've I backtracked I did apologize and people are like you don't need to apologize <laughs> like no it's just that I've been thinking about it I am a sensitive and empathetic little soul like I always will be in the same sense I'm saying that on the contrast I know for me I don't know about you but if I just sat around all day like stuff my face with food that I wouldn't necessarily eat all day every day and just lay there watching Netflix feeling sorry for myself I know for my mental health that wouldn't be good too so I think 
what I've come to the conclusion of right now at this current time and obviously in different situations in the next few weeks at the different times like it's all coming and going it may change but for me what I'm trying to do is make a list on my phone so like I get it up in notes the night before like this and what I have normally done every day, I either plan like a, a dumbbell circuit more like a resistance training. I've done like an online yoga class one morning. I did an online yoga class yesterday evening actually. Or I do like a hit circuit or whatever. Um, so I, I plan my session that I'm going to do. And I have done one every day. I haven't this morning just because I felt quite fatigued and I just wanted to like rest my body a little bit and then what I do I have a shower I don't I, I do like put makeup on it's not like this I don't normally do my hair like this I just tie my hair back I get ready not like I'm going out <laughs> it's almost like the start of the day like you're you're now starting the day and then um I have my second coffee so before I work out I kind of just like breathe in breathe out if I want to continue listen to like an audiobook that I'm listening to I do that for 20 minutes I try not to look at my phone and then after I work out when I'm kind of you know getting ready I listen to another podcast I maybe check Instagram then and then I kind of I'm like I'm ready for the day <laughs> Ready, I'm ready to seize the day and then we start the day and if I I try and stick to like time scales often I don't often I don't get everything done and I think during this time it is just literally being that that thing that we need to be kind to ourselves so if you wake up and feeling like my success today is literally just getting through today I don't know what that will be. I don't know what I need to eat. I don't know if I am gonna work out and if I don't, and that's okay. And I think I what I'm trying to do is just think about what I can do that day. Also what I've been doing is scheduling in a walk. So in the UK at the moment, we are able to go for one walk a day. So I call it my daily dose of green. I put it on my Instagram quite a lot. So what I tend to do, I know that my mood starts to go down. I think it's probably in correlation of the, the mid afternoon slump that we, our bodies naturally have. But around about two or three, I then go for a walk. I get a bit of sunlight, I get outside and that splits up my day when I come back. I do a little bit more work. I have like the news conference on at five. I try not to look at much news before that, even though I was very guilty actually this morning as soon as I woke up, I was looking at US news. I was like, <laughs> obviously you wanna be like, know what's going on in the world, but does this matter at six o'clock in the morning to me? No, it doesn't. That's another thing about our consumption of this. It's Obviously we need to be up on what's going on, but I think over consumption of bad news, I was listening to a podcast the other day and it, it literally affects us deep in our soul. I know that this is slightly off topic, but I was listening to a podcast from a psychologist and she actually said that people who were exposed to a lot of news of the New York Twin Towers 9-11. They had no um, connection to anyone in New York. They'd never been to New York. They weren't like involved in anything. They actually got PTSD from watching the awful like tragedy, horrible event happening like over and over again. So I'm not saying that this is like similar but it's constant craziness and worry and I think what I just try and do is limit it to the, the thing that I need. Social media is a great way in one hand of keeping everyone connected, in another hand it's it can spread a lot of fake news. So I would say this is more important than ever is to really 
tailor your feed to what what you want to see so if you want just like a little bit of light-heartedness like I love <laughs> the page Barry's banter bus like I can't they they do like memes and this is a thing that you have to get the balance between like this is a crisis going on here in the world and just something light-hearted because we all need a bit of a giggle let me drink my coffee and then I want to show you because I've been asked so much on my Instagram what equipment I've got for home workouts so I'll see you in the spare room and I got complete and utterly sidetracked over there. I'm just about to go and get some essentials from the shop. There's actually a shop which is really near me, which I didn't know. Because it's in a business park and no one's obviously working, it's so, so quiet. It's actually a Sainsbury's local, but they've got quite a lot of stuff in there. Um, so I've written a list so I'm not like browsing obviously but i just thought i'd show you um what equipment i have got before i leave um so i've literally just picked up i was trying to get some 10 kilogram dumbbells but they didn't have any anything anywhere but actually these five kilogram dumbbells have done me just fine in my workout so far uh, i've got an eight kilogram kettlebell and then i just have some bands i have a few more of these i got them from susie b fitness she sent me them just before christmas so this is like a medium band and i actually used for the first time yesterday this long band um so i just kind of stand on it with my feet a little bit apart and then do some like presses and front raises and all that kind of jazz and i have um, a mat as well so literally that is all the equipment that i have and i think home workouts have just made me be a little bit more creative actually you know other than really anything else which you know is always good so when i come back i'll just show you uh, some of the bits that i got and i will catch up with you at breakfast not even breakfast yet it's only 10 o'clock which is fine and we are back there was a couple of things that they didn't have but they were on my list but overall so much left there look Ta <laughs> i got the pasta literally i've been saying for ages i got some blueberries some light philadelphia i got some cottage cheese some salmon i got some packet basmati rice coffee because obviously um a whole cucumber some feta some uh, chopped tomatoes just tin tomatoes some pens <laughs> there is my phone <laughs> no wonder i feel like i lose all the time i just kind of dump it i got some eggs some bananas oat milk because <laughs> we always run out of that i got some avocados now please don't at me guys um they didn't it was only a local sainsbury's normally i don't buy avocados in packets these are the only ones that they had um and i got a grapefruit some spinach and some bread and i have got a few little bits in the fridge but not like loads but i just thought this is a, is a really good way of kind of making a lot of meals from it and that's what i'm trying to do at the moment i don't know if, if you're the same but i'm really appreciating the food that i've got i'm trying to make the most of meals so like i made like a a turkey tomato veggie stew i've actually got like half a portion left of that but in the past i would kind of throw like leftovers maybe away if i was just like oh you know i won't fancy that tomorrow but now i'm like really you know not considering like oh i definitely want mackerel today i'll go and get some mackerel i'm like what is actually in the fridge and do i need that the time is half ten it's breakfast time you guys know that i normally eat a little bit later about 10 11 sometimes even 12 to start eating in the day I'm gonna make my oats, nothing has changed there. You will have seen this oats recipe so much on my channel. So, let's get on with it. So, I'm first of all gonna add the ultra fine oats. Just one scoop. And it is like, I mean, I'll show you that. You know what it's like if you've watched my videos before. It is like a powder. Um, and then this is a new packet. Am I gonna add the whole thing of that? 
So this is a new packet. I'm just gonna add two tablespoons. It has got a scooper in it, but I'm not gonna. Two tablespoons, and uh, this is a new one. Not a new one to bulk powders, but I've not tried, I don't think it before. The white chocolate coconut vegan bulk powders protein. Then I'm just gonna use the liquid egg whites. Just a little splash of that, only cause, just because I find it just makes it a little bit more volume, voluminous, voluminous. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. I mean, as you can see, I don't really care how it goes because then I just end up mixing it afterwards. And this, friends, is going to be my breakfast. This is what I mean. I take a picture of it and then I just do this. Mmm. That was a too big mouth bomb. So we are back at lunch. It's like one o'clock, but because I didn't have my breakfast until like 10.45, I'm not super hungry, but I am going to go on my walk for the day in like half an hour's time. So I thought I would make my lunch. So it's not going to be like a super big lunch. So I've just boiled some eggs. Those are like cooling. I got some vine tomatoes. Got some half an avocado left. I'm going to do some feta cheese, which I bought before. I got some spinach, so I'm gonna use the rest of that spinach, but spinach always wilts down when you cook it. So I've got another bag here, and then I'm gonna put two pieces of this just wholemeal toast in. show you my walking outfit I always wear this hat because yeah I just feel in disguise I've got like a gym shark little light hoodie on I've got my North Face jacket which I love to just sling on and it rolls up if I in case I'm kind of warm um, I've just got like a light shoulder bag and these are gym shark as well I'm not sure of the collection and I've just got my Metcons on um, so yeah that is my outfit for my daily dose of green. And I'm back from my walk. Oh, you know what, I feel good after that. I feel so much better. I've been having a bit of a head day today. You know when you just got a lot of thoughts in your head and you just need a bit of a light relief. But I put a quote on my Instagram just before and I saw it and I was like, oh. So, um, He's called Stephen Bartlett. I mean, I've followed him for ages. He's a really good, like, motivational speaker. And he's, he puts on really, like, great quotes as well. So he said, Life is more enjoyable when you appreciate how temporary every moment is. Your brightest moments are temporary, so you must live in the moment when the sun is shining. Your darkest moments are temporary, so you must never give up when it is raining. What's that? dark and <laughs> what is there a mess um and i just thought that was really good like a good summary because i always think in moments that i i can have a clearer thought i know that i've been through like hardship and everyone's been through hardship heartache rough times grief loss whatever you know laid off from a job things like that but in the end moments are temporary and we always come out the other side uh, i don't know why i've still got my hat on but i'm not gonna like take it off on camera now because i'll probably have like a line and extreme hot hair so it's gonna stay on so the time is 20 past three and i'm just about to do some bits and pieces that i need to do i'm also gonna give myself I tried to give myself a manicure the other day, but just normal polish doesn't stay on for me at all. So I've got some nail varnish remover and just like a proper light, light colour. Going to give myself a little um, manicure and <laughs> I'm going to have a little snack as well before dinner time later. 
I can't even. I literally cannot even. You know when people are like, oh wow, hashtag sponsor. I mean, this is a sponsorship thing, but obviously they've not told me to talk about it. And if it tasted like rubbish or even tasted like average, I'd be like, I'm gonna leave that. But I have literally been obsessed. I don't even know how they've done this, but these vegan brownies, I, I'm, I'm just blown away. And every time I see someone posting them on social media, they're like, how though? They they just taste and say, oh my God, that's embarrassing. I've got three left and <laughs> I was giving them the other day. They're like my mid-afternoon snack. So they're like this. And I mean, you don't want to eat them all the time. They've got 227 calories in uh, per brownie. Uh, so I mean, you know, it's a good few bites, but it's not like, you know, 50 calories, but it's nice for like a little, when you want something really gooey, really brownie, really sweet. I mean, this is your bag. And people on YouTube do, do this, so that's, look, I mean, look how, I hate the word moist, but I'm just gonna say moist. Look how moist that is. I can't even. I mean, I'm just like, I don't understand. I do not understand. I definitely have chocolate on my teeth down. Mm -hmm. And we are back. I didn't do my nails. I took my nail varnish off, but I haven't painted them yet. But I did do my tan. I had a really good phone call, really positive. And I was feeling quite down in the dumps earlier on in the day. But like I said before, just things come in waves. We're up and down and I just talked to my sister before and I was like, I was feeling pretty down when I woke up this morning, but now I feel good. I feel good. We're going to be fine. So I'm going to make my dinner. I'm going to make like a tomato pasta -y thing. I'm so excited for pasta, I've got to be honest. And I do have some like half a pack of prawns, but because they're fresh prawns, I don't want to put them in with the pasta. And also I'm trying to batch cook quite a bit of food at the moment just so I have things like there and then, like nutritious food. Um, so I'm gonna put quite a bit of pasta in, mix some veggies, onion, tomato-y, and then use some of that with the prawns and maybe a bit of feta. Yeah, def definitely some feta. <laughs> It's a good day it's a good day i finally got my pasta so i didn't show you the end making it but basically it's just i used tomato puree some canned tomatoes some frozen veggies i chopped up some onion and courgette um a few of the prawns that i had left obviously the pasta and some feta on top oh i'm gonna enjoy it. so guys i am gonna leave it there for today this will be sunday's video so i hope you've had a great weekend if you are watching this on Sunday and I am sending you virtual hugs because we all need it from time to time. It's a tough period, but we're tough little cookies and whatever you're feeling today, know that it will pass. So until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video.